Here in Pennsylvania, the Tioga County and the Decategorized Human Service Delivery Program with John Cravis and Linda Stegen. Is that correct? Thank you. Good afternoon. On behalf of our county commissioners and our staff, we're delighted to be here and very proud to be part of the Innovations Program. Our decategorization program began in 1985 and dramatically altered forever the course of our human service system by integrating mental health, mental retardation, drug and alcohol, children and youth, daycare, and other grant programs. The process streamlined administration and eliminated the need for multiple administrators, personnel offices, and fiscal offices. It redefined the definition of a client, extending it to include but tracked and reported to state and federal agencies categorically. Cost of service for an individual was dramatically reduced. We estimate that this year, decategorization has reduced costs by $872,000, or $436 per individual. Over 12 years, we have saved approximately $8 million. A tracking system for child abuse reports. And in the last two years, we've seen an additional 6.4% reduction in injuries to children. Nationally, there's no greater issue of concern to the human service system than the budget office to block grant all of our categorical human service funds. Block granting further enhances replicability and for us, further reduces administrative costs. On behalf of our Was there a duplicative uh, structure at the state level? Yes. In Pennsylvania, in Pennsylvania, we're state regulated, but we're county administered. So as a county, we get to choose how we're going to run our system. But in my own congressional district, you were basically accomplishing what I <laughs> <laughs> failed to do uh, and failed to do at, at the national level. The question I would have, I think, was this uh, with differing rules and regulations and so forth. How have you managed to meet all the requirements uh, with this centralized operation? We created the system, I think, for two reasons. Judge Kemp, who was our president judge, he's our senior, so our initial impetus really was to create a system that would be user-friendly and that people could access services and expanded services in our system. We're a six-class county. This is really that's become then our, our practice. Our caseload sizes are regulated by our child welfare system. 30 families to one caseworker. And that's been our standard. Uh, that generally amounts to 45, 50 folks, but 30 families. And that's a good number. Are you familiar with uh, Washington State's uh, home bill? 